since. This has literally been a dream in the making for the past four years and I cannot believe this is actually happening. And hi, if you're new here, I'm Kara, and this is my husband, Harley, and our daughter, Zozo. And last year, we sold everything we had to travel the world full-time, and we're currently checking off one of our biggest bucket list items of renting a camper van in Scotland. We left Dublin on an early morning flight on Ryanair. Our flight from Dublin to Edinburgh was about $130 for three tickets and a little over an hour. Well, we've made it to Scotland and we are so hungry because we got up so early to get on our flight. So we're going to have something to eat for breakfast and then grab a taxi to go pick up the van. We had some toasties and smoothies from Black Sheep Coffee, which cost us $28 before we headed to the taxi line. Thankfully to pick up the van, it's just a quick five minute taxi ride. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> our home sweet home for the next week is our indie camper van. Oh my gosh, it's so nice! We decided to rent their Atlas 5 motorhome with automatic transmission. This can actually sleep up to five people comfortably, and it also has a full kitchen and a full bathroom, complete with a shower. We got the full rundown from the staff before we settled and unpacked our suitcases for the week. They also have a manual in the van, as well as a helpful video you can reference, and also 24-7 customer support if you have any trouble while you're on the road. Well, this is home sweet home for the next week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. This has literally been a dream in the making for the past four years, and I cannot believe this is actually happening. So first up is we need to go grocery shopping, so we're going to Aldi first. All right, we just made it to Aldi. Now we gotta get some groceries for the week. When you're in Scotland, you definitely wanna shop at Aldi for the best prices. We got so many groceries here, especially with this being primarily plant-based, and it only cost us 129 pounds or just around 165 US dollars. All right, we are all stocked. Got everything we need for the week. Huh? yay, Zoe! <laughs> we also stopped at the B&M home store, which was great because we needed a few essentials that the van didn't come with, like towels and a few different cooking utensils we needed. All right, we just sat and had some lunch, which is so nice. Right. Huh, babe? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's really nice. Now we're going to go ahead to Sterling Castle. It's the only thing that's open past five o'clock because, y'all, we just did way more grocery shopping <laughs> than we probably should have, but we are stocked for the week, so that's the good thing. We're here at Blackness Castle and it's closed to visitors to go inside, but you can still walk around it after closing time. And it feels so special because it feels like we're just here and that the castle is all ours. was seriously the perfect time to come there is absolutely just maybe two people <laughs> I can't say absolutely no one but it's so calm and it's so quiet and it's something Harley and I have been talking about for years to do this and what a more special place to start off van life than Blackness Castle here in Scotland <laughs> This is so amazing because now that we're done doing that excursion, we just pop right back on our house on wheels.
So it was a successful night in the van. It was very comfortable and cozy. It actually got a bit cold, but Harley woke up and turned the heat on for us. And after that, it was perfect. The bed was a bit hard, but you know, we're in Europe, so that wasn't anything that <laughs> we haven't experienced before. Um, but the bed covers and everything were really comfortable. And I'm about to wake up now and just make us some breakfast while we have these beautiful hills behind us. Zozo and I are up right now. We're about to leave the campsite, but we have some sheep back here in the background. So we thought we'd come check them out, Hanzo. Huh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> this was such a beautiful campsite. We're staying at the Witch's Craig and Veda and her family have run this campground for almost 50 years now. She is so sweet. Highly recommend stopping here. They had facilities for bathrooms, showers, laundry. It was a really, really nice day. All right, we just parked the camper. And this is our first stop today, day two of our Scotland road trip. We are here at the Kelpies. I think what's so cool about this place is that I remember seeing this place. I think it was on Pinterest and I had no idea where it was or like what country it was in, but now seeing it in person is so cool. <laughs> I still can't believe we're in Scotland. <laughs> Oh, that was so cool, you guys. We are now on our way to Inverness. We actually have two friends that we met doing Boundless Life uh, last year. So they are actually here as well too in Scotland. We did not plan that. <laughs> so we're actually gonna go have dinner with them tonight in Inverness. So we're gonna get on the road and yeah, this has just been so nice to just be able to have, you know, flexibility to just do what we want at our leisure. So we're gonna go ahead and get back on the road. We've just made it to our next campsite for the night, right outside of Inverness. And it's really pretty because it's right by the lake. Well, we are about to go head into town for dinner with our friends. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. The next day we explored Urquhart Castle. This is a really famous castle here in Scotland that dates all the way back to the 13th century. It also has some of the best views of Loch Ness and it's a popular castle to visit when you're here in Scotland. To enter the castle, you'll need a ticket which you can purchase online for 13 pounds per adult. Oh, this castle is so cool. This is exactly why we came to Scotland. So we could just go look at all these different castles. <laughs> As you can see, it was a bit rainy this day, but that didn't make the experience any less enjoyable. The castle had a few spots actually where you could escape the rain and it doesn't take long to get through it. So maybe just about 30 minutes before you wanna to head to the gift shop or the cafe for some hot chocolate to warm up. All right, just finished up at the castle. Zozo's got her new, what did you get? A mumu cow. cow. <laughs> a little Highland cow. <laughs> So it's quite rainy today, as you can see. <laughs> We're actually gonna go meet some friends for some lunch. And it's a little tough to park this thing in Inverness, but if you come to the Morrisons, you can park the van super easily. It's three hours of free parking. We just stopped off at this cute little bar 
and we desperately needed some coffee. <laughs> Even though we have coffee already, it's a little difficult because then we have to turn on the propane to heat the water and then put it in the French press. So instead we just needed to stop and grab some coffee, but this is absolutely beautiful over here. All right, we've just gotten to our campsite for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video and we will see you on the next, next one. one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Join us next week as we explore the beautiful Isle of Skye for some epic views and magical hikes, the town of Portree for some delicious donuts, a visit to more iconic Scottish castles, and getting our selfie with some cute Highland cows before we drive through the incredible landscape of Glencoe. We'll see you on the next one.